hey what's up guys uh thank you very much for being on electrica i really appreciate that now uh we are still talking about controllers and i'm, I'm just going to have this video uh more often of controllers and probably you can find that uh, there is your controller in this series okay now today i have got uh a come up okay today i have got um, a come up uh but what you're seeing is a lex uh sync okay but it's actually a come up which is intel come up mint okay so uh this controller is just this controller is just the same as this okay yeah so just the same the only you'll see difference in the button is the numbering of button is but they are just the same uh the software the arch the archive is all the same so yeah uh, no worry if you have because if you have a uh, come up brand or come up uh, branded uh, module then it's just the same as this no worry after all it's just the same company okay now first and first uh it is a, a very simple uh controller very easy and simple you have your navigation key up and down here you have your menu button which doubles as the page okay then you have your start you have stop then you have uh, the mode uh, of operation uh, uh, button is then you have reset and then you have the on button this button it closes your gcb so this is your load and this is your generator so you close this and then you know your load is engaged okay so let us look here a little quick okay now right here uh this is what we have so we have all you're seeing all these uh sockets and all this side you're seeing these sockets okay and uh each socket carries something so first this side we have a uh, generator current uh which is of course the cities that uh feed in here okay and then uh they are they are there are three cities so e each terminal there are four terminals each terminal city and then the fourth terminal is grounded then you have got generator voltage which is a line to line okay so you're seeing uh neutral l1 l2 l3 okay then uh you have got uh bus voltage we talked about that what the bus voltage is the voltage uh after the breaker then you have binary uh inputs and outputs i'll talk about that just in a moment then you have got the can one can two those are the can bus buses just communication between the this module and the controller then you have uh governor and the AVR, then you have analog input so this uh analog inputs is uh, especially when you have maybe uh, uh analog current you know meters voltage meters you know and uh maybe temperature uh all that uh, engine temperature uh maybe engine speed when they're all analog okay then uh, you do have also uh power the supply to this controller which we are going to do to feed it here and voila the controller is on okay so we have just to uh, to deny it that okay so your controller will be uh like this okay so uh half mode these are the modes of manual and auto so you'll have to move this one around when you move this the system will be off you put that it's manual you're able to use start and stop and then when you put in auto uh of course more modification for automatic if you have a changeover switch or if you have an auto signal linked if you put it here the generator will start alone without pressing here so long as there is a link okay 
Now, you're seeing here, it will tell you not ready. Because obviously there are so many things we've not connected to, to this controller. You're seeing here, breaker off. So, this is it. And then you have uh, core theta here, which is your, your power factor. You have your RPM uh, right here. Okay. Then, we can scroll around here. So, uh, this controller, it synchronizes. That's why you see Lexus Sync. So, it synchronizes. You can synchronize uh with with multiple generators okay so here we can go through this this is where you you'll be viewing your voltage uh you'll be viewing your bus voltage there then you'll be viewing oil, oil oil pressure oil temperature fuel level and battery voltage okay then you have your binary inputs uh right there where you have gcb feedback gcb feedback simply that is uh uh if it, it, if you press here and the GCB is engaged, so there is a feedback that goes back that the GCB has engaged, or if it trips, so that's the, 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 the feedback in a uh, input ban uh, uh, binary. Then you have GCB strip, you have system start and stop, all those are binary uh, inputs. You have emergency stop. Uh, okay. Then you have outputs. So you see outputs is ECU Lille okay then you have gcb close and open okay uh and then the power switch okay then you have got a ecu value there uh where you have oil pressure you know coolant uh then you have uh, uh boost pressure yeah okay okay then you have uh, you can monitor here the same as you scroll you have your running hour you have the number of starts number of e-stops okay number of shutdown shutdown alone here e-stops is emergency stops and then it starts just the way you start the engine and it starts running hour is uh, at the hours which the engine runs both on load and on no load okay so energy in kilowatt hour so this is your true power which you use and then energy in kilowatt hour this is the reactive power which you do not use which is a waste okay all right okay now uh that's that then there are some configuration uh if you are to enter into configuration if you want to set you got power management you want to see your engine protect you want to set your maybe maintenance hours okay where now you can press here and then you see uh there's a password you know uh, process control basic control engine parameters engine protect so you come to engine protect you say okay so in engine protect you see uh you know uh you're going to see battery over voltage uh you see speed you know so oil pressure you know everything here engine temperature is you know you can you are able to set values here okay so this is to protect the engine uh you know you can set in your thresholds there okay uh then uh you can come to uh this is generator protect so generator protect you have always of course overall the short circuit okay uh and so on and so forth so those are the umpire imbalances phase imbalances all that so that's what you will find here okay okay then when you come to what is this this is the power management so this power management is if you're due for synchronization this is where everything is done uh if you're going to prioritize generator which generator comes in you know uh so most of the um, if you're not going to synchronize mostly this power management you won't you know really uh go here a lot yeah so synchronize load circuits okay okay uh and uh analog switches uh so so much okay so uh that's how uh this controller is uh just wanted to take you through 
just in case you have this kind of controller and probably you need to look for something yes uh that's how it is but as i said earlier this controller and the this one here they are exactly the same okay just a few things here that they have uh you know changed a bit but they are just the same controller but just in case you want me to bring that uh come up uh the same as this you know tell me in the comment why not okay and uh if you truly like this uh controller setting please uh let me know so more will be coming don't forget subscribe to like and share and sharing those people whom you think that this kind of content yeah they can learn something out of them until next time i'm out